it's Ivy here. Today's gonna be a little summer glow up video and how I glow up for zero dollars. I've seen so many videos of people doing glow up summer videos that are like, I spent a thousand dollars to glow up, I spent five hundred dollars to glow up, and they go all out doing their hair, nails, makeup, waxing, everything. But I mean, let's be honest here, who has that money to kind of do those kind of glow ups every now and then? Not me. Basically, we're gonna do some glow up tips for free. If you wanna learn how to glow up for free as well, come along with me. One free glow up tip that I have is making sure that your hair is healthy and beautiful and shiny. Well, that's what I'm currently working on this year. I mentioned it in a previous video, but I completely bleached my hair and dyed it blonde about two years ago and it damaged my hair so much. It's only taken me two years now to get it to the point where I have been able to chop off all that hair and kind of restart fresh. So I watched a couple of TikTok videos on how I can have nice and shiny hair. One of the biggest tips is to emulsify the shampoo in your hair before you put it in your hair rather than putting it directly in your hair apparently if you do this and then you massage it into your scalp this does wonders for your head and like makes your hair grow really really well so this is exactly what i'm doing here i am then gonna only wash my hair with cold water one thing that really damaged my hair when it was bleached was that i used to wash my hair with hot water mainly because i dyed my hair in the middle of winter and it was just way too cold to not have hot showers but right now i'm pretty lucky because it's the middle of summer right now and um i'm able to have cold cold showers and it's not going to be too cold at all. After I wash out my shampoo, I'm going to be applying this Olaplex hair perfector in my hair. Products that I mentioned here in this video, I did not buy any of these products before I started this video. I'm literally just showing you guys my routine. You don't have to do this, but apparently this hair perfector is supposed to strengthen your hair and repair any excess damage that was done to your hair. So this is what I'm doing. I'm basically just sectioning it off and then applying it into my hair so that every inch of my hair is covered. After that, I'm going to clip it up and then I'm actually going to put a plastic bag on my head. I don't know what this does. I just saw a video of someone doing this and so I thought I would copy it. And then basically I just let my hair sit for about 45 minutes. Once I've done that, I'm going to wash it all out. I'm going to do my regular hair and shampoo routine. And then I put my hair in this little bamboo wrap. This bamboo wrap was only $4 from Kmart. And it's so much better for my hairline than using a big towel because it's not really dragging on my hairline and it's not pulling as much hair out. And then I'm going to brush my hair and then I'm going to use my dye in hair drying attachment just to style my fringe and then once i've styled my fringe what i'm going to do is i'm going to blow dry my hair i put it on the cold setting so i'm not using too much excess heat on my hair after that i like to apply a hair oil to my hair i have this olaplex one but like i said previously you don't have to use the same products as me but this just makes your hair really nice and shiny and this is basically what i just do i just leave it like this and hopefully by the end of the year i'm gonna get some really good results the second glow up tip of course is working out i've seen so many of these glow up videos of girls doing these glow up videos and they just go to the gym for a week they're just like i'm out of routine i'm gonna go and i'm gonna get fit again and then they're only there for a week just for the video and then not do it i'm really trying to maintain a good workout routine this year other than one week i have been going consistently for about five to six weeks now and i go about four times a week it is honestly such a struggle to go for me still i'm at this point where where I'm not always bothered, but it's really great having my husband go to the gym with me because he is such a great accountability partner. Literally, I would have probably skipped half the amount of times of gym if it weren't for him pushing for us to go. And it's been really, really great, actually. I'm kind of getting into a routine now and I kind of don't want to stop this momentum. So I'm really going for it. But today was just a leg day. Today we're doing reverse lunges and oh my gosh, this killed. Not necessarily my legs, I was doing about eight or nine kilos which wasn't too bad i feel like my legs could handle it but my arms are just not strong enough yet to be able to carry these weights so i think when you're like trying to glow up it's best to not just do like one part of your body like legs or abs the entire time. I feel like you have to work out all areas of your body so that everything gets equally as strong as possible. Yeah, halfway through when I was doing these reverse lunges, I felt like I was literally dying, mainly because my hand could not grip these weights anymore. My forearms and my arms were just like not strong enough to hold these weights and they were like really falling from my grip. Ani was feeling the same thing. We just both died, but look at him go. He literally just picks it up and keeps going literally my inspiration my role model i cannot oh my gosh go my love 
and then afterwards we go to the hack squat I don't love this thing this is so hard to use but I'm so proud of myself because I did three sets of 12 reps I remember the very first week that I did this my legs were so weak I could get to four and I was shaking and my legs could not do it anymore but I'm so proud that I got to 12 and it's really exciting to see because I see how much progress I've made just going consistently in five to six weeks that by the end of the year, I can't wait to see how far I can get. We don't have a fully dedicated ab day in our workout routine. At the end of each workout, we try to add a little bit of an ab workout at the end of it. So I like to do these like leg raises on this machine thing. And afterwards, I will do these reverse sit-ups upside down. If this is something that you see at the gym and it gets a little bit too easy for you, you can also do like a weighted version like this. Arnie takes like a weight and then he does his sit-ups weighted. Honestly, it's insane. This is hard enough to do. I cannot imagine doing it with weights. And then afterwards, we did a plank for a minute and 25 seconds. Each week, we're trying to up it by five seconds and it's getting harder and harder, guys. I honestly don't know. It is so painful. But I feel like going to the gym and working out consistently whether you're like going for a walk every single day or going for a run every single day i think that is such a glow up in itself i feel like for me personally working out has really changed my mindset my eating habits and the way that i view myself and others as well so lately i've been addicted to my phone like really really addicted to my phone okay namely tiktok not gonna lie i keep going on that app and refreshing at least 30 times a day which is so unhealthy i think it was like for a while that like my phone was literally a permanent attachment to my hand like i just could not put it down i just kept refreshing and refreshing and refreshing mainly because my tiktok account has seen a lot of growth recently and i just really like watching like the numbers go up in views and videos and stuff and people commenting which i mean is really really great and i love that like little instant gratification that you get when you check your phone and you're like the week's hard work that I put in like really paid off but I just find my mental health kind of slipping a little bit when I'm constantly checking my phone and scrolling because I spend a lot of time on TikTok and Instagram and I'm trying to consume content just to be able to like know what kind of content to create I find myself like my mind is just constantly like turning and turning and turning i just have like these rapid fire thoughts because there's just so much going on in my head i'm consuming so much content and then my brain kind of just doesn't know what to do with that information and it's constantly thinking like it's kind of like my brain operates at like like i don't know two thoughts per second it's like oh my gosh i have to make dinner oh my gosh i have to do this there's just so much it feels like there's so much noise coming into my head and the volume is loud i kind of have this new thing for a little internal glow up so that you know, I can kind of just relax, reset my brain, and not have so much noise in my head where I'm literally going to try to just go on my phone at least 10 times a day. And I know that sounds like a lot, but for someone who went from checking their like TikTok account 30 times a day to like 10 times a day, that's kind of very limiting for me. And I find that I'm actually using the app a lot less and that my brain is quieting down a lot more, which has been so beneficial for me. I think it's been really, really great. If I give myself 10 times a day to check my phone, it's kind of like for me, like, oh, I've got to save that. Like I've got to save that because I only have like, you know, a couple more times a day before I can permanently like not check my phone anymore for the rest of the day. The noise and the cloud fog that was here before is kind of clearing up and honestly it has been so nice. As grateful that I am for TikTok and like everything that's happening with it, I also know that I need to really limit myself on that because inside here, like your glow up in here will not keep getting better if you're like spending so much time consuming content. You need to be able to just let yourself Think. You need to be able to let yourself relax and rest and you need to make sure that you're not bombarding your brain with so much content and so much like info coming in all the time. And yeah, that is one side of my little glow up. Along that similar train of thought, I think one of the best things you can do to glow up is getting outside, getting in nature, getting some vitamin D in you. And so you should totally have a few going out days, beach days like this. Your hair down and put on your palm
lot easier when you do what you're told Borrow my leg to stand on, let's get out of control Give me my daily dose of your coquetry I've put some thought into poetry A summer's eve, shall I compare to thee Or is it not to be? One internal way that I love to glow up on the inside, of course, is doing my devotions and journaling every single morning. Even if you are not a Christian or not religious or anything like that, I definitely think doing a journal, having like a gratitude journal is so important. I'm currently trying to slowly make my way through the Bible again. I'm following this plan on um, the Bible app. It's through this organization called Through the Word. It's really cool. It tells you like which part of the bible to read and then it'll have a little commentary on it afterwards kind of explaining what the bible verse was about giving context to it and a little bit more insight to it which is really really great because for a long time i used to just read the bible and not have any background information to it at all but this actually really puts a lot of things into perspective and then afterwards i pick a bible verse or something related to the devotion that i really really liked or stood out to me and then i do a bit of a journal on my thoughts about it i try to do this every single morning before i get up out of bed before i touch my phone or social media or anything like that i think it really just sets me up for the day and because the commentary is a usually about 8 to 12 minutes long i like to do it while i'm getting ready in the morning so i'll play it while i'm brushing my teeth and washing my face and having a shower in the morning so because this is a glow up video but i didn't necessarily do anything to glow me up physically i thought i would throw in my recent makeup routine and show you guys what i've been doing for summer i don't know where to look if i'm supposed to look here or here or what but let's get into it Okay, but my mascara is kind of popping today. It usually looks like this at first, and then it's gonna drop. It's literally just gonna go like that. It looks really long from the side, but not really from the front. Guys, I haven't really found a dry shampoo that I'm really ride or die for. I just buy whatever's on sale at Woolies. But if you guys have any recommendations of any dry shampoos that you cannot recommend enough, please let me know down below. Preferably something drugstore because I tend to go through these once every two months. I really thought this Tony and Guy one was going to be really good. But no, it, it's, just, it's just average. And this is the finished look. I'm going to show you guys an outfit as well. Here's my little outfit. I think this is so cute. This has been my favorite go-to summer dress recently. If I could describe it, like it's a little fairy or very ethereal in this, it's so cute. It really depends on the day, whatever I'm feeling. But today, because it is a very cutesy feminine dress, I kind of wanted to turn it down with these chunky shoes. Honestly, if I could describe these shoes, these are kind of like school shoes. But this is a little outfit that we are working with and 
yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little glow up video. Like this video if you liked it. Let me know if you want to see any more like these trying to glow up on a budget. Follow me on my Instagram and TikTok. They're both just at Ivy underscore Nicole with two E's. And I'll see you guys in the next week's video. Bye!